Welcome, and welcome back to all that the wind has brought here, to another episode of Roots of Pacha. It is the third of spring, uh, fall. I know what season it is. Wow. And we have most of the crops that we're going to grow, it looks like. We need to double check the jungle and maybe double check the savanna, but we have nearly everything. And as we awaken in our own house for a change, we have a copper watering can finished. And tomorrow will be the clan gathering. So, checking to see who is here. We do not have a Zelk. We do have a Brub. And we do not have a Zeta. So we can see if there's anything to trade with Brub. And that'll be excellent. Let's say good morning to Shadow. And he can come along with us. Oh, it's so beautiful. This is a really pretty game, admittedly. Okay, we're done with all of that. I think we actually need to get breeding something. We do. I say we should breed some boars. Uh, however, we're going to have to unmark our current boar as our mount first. Is our little baby grown? It is not. Okay. How fast is this bison? Speed of one. Oh, but you're so much faster. Okay, we'll go back to Sage. We know Sage is fast enough. Sage, hello. Be my mount. Yes. Alright. Sage is once again our mount. I'm not sure if we can breed that baby, but we're going to give it a try. And we will be cutting inappropriate dialogue again. My apologies for that. Are you far enough along? You can be bred. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. So, we'll go ahead and get these two breeding. Yeah, that'll be great. Okay. And then, if I can be pardoned for just a moment, I will be right all right, I was going to wait until after uh, buying and planting seeds, but Igor has a question for us. You know what keeps me young? Mm, I'd say let's go with no idea. No idea? I have plenty of them, just not all good. That was, that was pretty great. Okay, let's go ahead, buy some buckwheat. Um... These butternut squash, we don't need to buy more of at the moment. Cabbage, sure. Chili, also sure. Corn. Yep, don't see why not. Fennel. Garbanzo regrows, I'm not too worried about it. Prickly pear. We do need a little bit more of. Pumpkins, we do need a little bit more of. Sweet potatoes, we're going to buy all of those. And onions will buy all of those. Okay. Chilies. We'll do the buckwheat next. 
This isn't much watering. You guys can hang out for this. Those are cabbage, actually. Oh, well, let's get some cabbages into the ground here. Ooh, we get to rock out. Okay. All those cabbages. Um, let's see. Those are fennel there. And that's onion there. So let's get some onion in here. And since fennel's up there, we'll go ahead and get the rest of the fennel planted here because I don't believe it's going to regrow. Okay. Um, let's look at where those prickly pear are. Let's get more pumpkins in the ground over here, including one there. Before I go insane. Okay. Then it should just be the sweet potatoes and the corn. Millet is not in season. So yeah, sweet potatoes, corn, and buckwheat. So corn actually goes all the way down here. We are not resting. We're not resting until we are done. Okay. Buckwheat, and then sweet potatoes. All of the sweet potatoes, because you know what? Yeah. yeah. All right, we just finish off these last little bits. All right, everything is planted. Now let's grab sage. Okay, we have a new watering can, which probably would have been useful to have earlier, but that's okay. Hey, Akri. Thank you. Awesome. Wait, wait, I'm not done. I like music and dancing. I just like making things more. So to get a copper hoe, we need 25 copper and 40 wood. So that will be quite a bit more mining for us. Before we can get working on that. But that's okay. What can we do in the meantime? Well, we can go and see if Brub has anything we want to trade. And we can go give everyone on the beach some strawberries, maybe. Uh -huh. 
Well, we can at least give in to a strawberry. What a pleasant surprise. Thanks. I dove off of a cliff a few days. I thought Croc was going to faint. It wasn't that high. I like Enza. It's the spirits who first taught us to paddle to shape paddle boards. That's why it's an honor to be entrusted with their creation. That's a pretty good concept. Okay. Let's do a double check in the jungle. Just to make sure there's nothing there. It didn't look like there was even a place for the crops to grow, but we'll see. And actually, these fields are looking pretty nice. To be completely honest, they are looking real nice. See... I'm seeing some of these big grasses look like they could be crops, but they're not. They're big grasses, and they're all over the place. All right, so. I suppose that means that ideally we should go mining. Although that seems like a silly thing for us to do, it may be in our best interest at this point. Oh, unless we can find Garrick. We may be able to find Garrick, in which case we should go and speak with him. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Okay. We'll, we'll go sell some stuff. We'll try and find Garrick. And then we'll spend the rest of the night in the mines, maybe. I know we could break the man the egg down into mayonnaise, but that just seems silly at this point. Okay. So, let's find Garrick. Scroll up to about... Oh, I passed him. Okay. Where is Garrick? Garrick is in the tent above us. Well, isn't that just perfect? Um, and let's make sure that Jasper's fairly well up top. Fascinating, thank you. We used to be like the birds, traveling south for the winter. Let's dance with Garrick. Okay. And then, let's ride south to the beach and head on out to the mines, I guess. And see if there's any further that we can go explore. At this time, at least. At this point in time, is there any further that we can explore? That's the real question, isn't it? Ignore her. She's asking for dinner an hour early. And if I give her dinner an hour early, I know everybody's like, why insist upon feeding your cat at a specific time? Because I like to sleep. And if dinner comes an hour early, so does breakfast. And if breakfast comes an hour early, I'm up at 6 a.m. So, you know, I'm okay with not doing that. To be completely honest, I am okay with not doing that. Okay, we are going to need a hammer. Uh, we are going to need more copper, so we will collect that. Because more copper means a better hoe. Yeah, still not happening. 
You can keep telling me that. But I don't need to give up into the mi in the mines until I run out of food or pass out. Mm, don't need the amethyst. Garrick doesn't seem... I don't think actually I've given it to him, but we're focusing on Jasper because he loves that. Jasper or Garnet or whatever it was, that's what our focus. Um, right. Hammer. More copper. Okay. Hopefully we can come along this way. Yep, and then we have to go up. Still not going to bed. Uh, you need a stronger tool for this. Hmm. So we cannot go that way. Interesting. Well, if we can't go that way... Hmm. Well, that's the way out into the savannah. We cannot currently upgrade our hammer. Copper doesn't seem to be a tool we can use to upgrade our hammer. So that brings about an interesting concept. So how are we going to get through there? I mean, I suppose we could wait for the rocks to generate the way we want. I'm not sure. Perhaps there's more that's hidden from us that we've missed somehow. I'm not sure. But we are about to pass out, so we'll go ahead and pass out. So we will have to figure out how to get the next hammer upgrade. For the moment, clan is up to 117,000 prosperities. Prosperity, not plural prosperities. Um, we contributed only 208 today, but that's okay. Tomorrow will be the clan gathering. However, that's going to have to wait until next time. For with the saving of the game, and the ending of the day. We have come to the end of another episode. If you like what you see, feel free to hit that thumbs up, and if you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. But until next time, may the wind bring you on another journey, and have a good night.